In this video, I'm going to show you how to make high quality videos for free with Canva. Hi, my name is Sean Rutra and in today's video, I'll be showing you a really easy way to get started making your own videos for free. It doesn't require any fancy equipment or expensive software. All you need is some creativity and the right tools. If you're interested in learning more about this software, all you need to do is follow along with, with this video and you'll have a video finished by the end of this tutorial. So before we get started, all you need to do is hit that like button, subscribe and comment down below. And if you do all three of those things, you'll be in the draw to win my YouTube masterclass course. So the course teaches you how to, how to launch a YouTube channel, grow the YouTube channel and monetize it. And if you just like this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell and just comment down below, you'll be in the draw to win my uh, YouTube Masterclass course. So I do this every single week and I pick a new winner every week. So let's pick last week's winner. So all I need to do is go to last week's video, copy the URL, and I use this website right here and it will pick a random comment as the winner. So it's gonna go through all the comments and let's pick a winner right here. So the winner is father's son. So if you're watching this video, all you need to do is email me at help at dreamcloudacademy.com. I'll leave my email in the description below, at the bottom of the description below. Just email me with this account. So you should have a Gmail account. So email me with that account so I'll know that it's you and I'll give you access to the YouTube Masterclass course. So with that said, let's get started with today's video. So I'll leave a link to Canva in the description below. And once you create your free account, this is what your dashboard will look like. And at the top here, you have a few options. So you can create presentations, you can create social media posts, or you can create a video. And under video, you can create a Facebook video, a mobile video, a YouTube ad, and so much more. But in this case, we just want to create a normal video. So let's click on video right here. And the video editor will open up. So this is a really simple video editing uh, interface and it's very easy to understand. So we're gonna start with just the basics and then towards the end of the video, I'll show you how to make a proper YouTube video. So on the left hand side here, you can see all the different templates you can use. So most of these templates here are free, but the ones with this little uh, king icon, you have to pay for those ones. So let's choose this template right here. So I'm just gonna simply click on it and you can see what it looks like. And if you're happy with it, you can start editing it. So if you don't like this one, just click on another one and there's uh, another template and you can start editing this one. So I'm happy with this one right here. And if you want to add, change the text, you can just simply double click on it and change it to anything that you want. And if you want to undo, just press Control Z or Command Z if you're on a Mac. And you can also change the fonts right here at the top. So these are all the free fonts you can use. And again, the ones with this little king icon, you have to pay for those ones. You can also change the, the font size, the font color. You can make it underlined. Uh, you can make it italic. And you can also add in some animations. So let's click on animations and make sure you have the text selected. And most of these are free except for the ones here at the bottom. So the ones that I use the most is pan and rise. So I'm going to use pan right here. So it just pans from the left hand side. So I like that one. So let's leave it as it is. Next, let's say you want to change the background video. So I'm going to go into videos right here and you can choose any one of these copyright free videos. Or if you want to upload your own videos, just go into uploads and click on upload media. So let's go into videos and I'm going to choose this video right here. So you need to click and drag it onto the left hand side or the right hand side. So it needs to be right on the edge right here, not in the middle or the bottom, it has to be right on the edge. That tells Canva that you wanna replace this video with another video. So there's the new video now. So next, let's say you wanna add in another frame. So I'm gonna click on add page right here, and this is a new frame. And let's add in an, another video into this background. So let's choose this one right here. So I'm simply just gonna, oh, so what it just did is, so what I just did is, uh, I simply just clicked on this video and it just added this inside the video. But that's not what I want. So if you just click on a random video, it just adds it in, inside the video. But what I want it to be is the background video. So to do that, you have to click and drag it and make sure you put it onto the edge of the frame. So not the middle, the edge right here. 
and that adds it as a background. And now I'll go back to the first frame and I'll click on the text and I'll pr uh, press Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac to copy this text and press Control V or Command V if you're on a Mac to paste the text. I always do this so it just keeps the text exactly where it is on the first frame. So it just keeps everything, um, everything consistent. So now we have these two frames right here. So if you want to see how long the video is, you can check right here at the top. It says the video is 2 minutes and 9 seconds long. So that's quite long for a video that only has two frames. So let's say the first frame, I'm going to click on this first frame right here and then click inside the video. And you can see this first frame is 11 seconds long. So let's cut that down to 5 seconds. Right? Actually, let's cut it down to about 3.5 seconds. Then let's go to the next frame and again click inside the video and you'll see the um, the duration of this frame right here. So that's quite long. That's 1 minute and 57 seconds long. So I'm going to cut that all the way down to 4 seconds. And you can choose any portion of the video. So maybe you like the middle part of this video and you can choose maybe somewhere around here and that looks good. And now we have a video that's 7.8 seconds long. So that's like a good intro. So let's hit play and let's see what this looks like so far. So the, uh, the text pans in and then the next te text pans in with a different background video. So now uh, I also noticed there's this little icon right here that came with the template. So uh, let me just make this bigger so it's a bit more clear for you guys. So if anything has this little Canva logo inside there, so you can slightly see that Canva logo with this little bunch of uh, lines, that means you have to pay for this icon. So if I try to download this video now, so if I go up to download, you can see it's asking me to pay for that icon. It's asking me to pay at least $1.50. So I actually don't want this icon there, so let's just hit delete. And now if I go back to download, now I can just download the video for free. So I can download it as HD, as an HD um, uh, MP4. So there we go, it starts downloading. And once it's finished, uh, you have a video re ready to upload to YouTube. So that's just the basics now. Now I'm going to show you how to actually take a script and turn that into a video with Canva. So hopefully by now you know how to use Canva to edit your videos. So now let's start creating a proper video. So I've got this uh, script written by writer.me. So if you don't know about this AI writing tool, it's uh, really amazing. It writes any type of uh, YouTube scripts or blogs that you want. So uh, make sure you watch my previous video. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So just within a few minutes, it just wrote this uh, YouTube script for me. So we're going to use this script to create the video. So it's just called top 10 tallest buildings in the world. So uh, top eight, sorry. So that should say eight right here. So let me just change that. And we're going to start from number eight. So the first one is the Shard London Bridge. So I'm going to go uh, copy this. So actually, I'll just go straight into pixels.com. So if you don't know pixel, what pixels.com is, this is where you can find copyright free uh, videos and photos as well. So let's go into videos right here. And I'm just going to type in the Shard. And right here, you can see there's some videos of the building itself. So let's download the first one. And let's download the second one as well. So it will ask you to donate, but it's up to you if you want to donate to the creator of the video. And let's close that. And let's go into Canva. So I'm going to go into uploads. And I'm going to upload the videos that we just downloaded. So there's the first video. So I'm going to simply click and drag this into the first frame. So remember, you need to click and drag it into this edge of the frame, not the middle, the edge of the frame. So you can't see the text anymore. So let's uh, click on the text and let's change the color to uh, black. And maybe let's also move it to the top right here as well. So I think that looks pretty good there. Then let's go back to the script. So it says the shard and the name recognized by locals and visitors alike is London's newest iconic skyscraper. Um, so I'm going to say, I'm just going to take this first text right here. So I can copy and paste this because this is all uh, tested for plagiarism and this is all of my own original text. So I'm just going to simply copy this and let's go back to Canva 
and let's paste that in here. So that might be a bit long, but let's just see what it looks like. Yes, yeah, so I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to click inside the frame. So inside the text and it's about nine seconds long. So I think within nine seconds, they can read this maybe within like even about 5.5 seconds, I reckon. So that looks good. And let's add in one more fact about this building. So I'm going to click and drag the next uh, video. And let's also uh, actually we should have started with the name right here. So I'm going to say I'm going to push this down a little bit and I'm also going to copy this and paste it again. And let's just uh, start with the name. So I'm going to say number eight, the shard. And I'll also make this text a little bit bigger. And so that looks good. And I'll also make it pan pan up. As, yep. So that looks pretty good. There we go. And let's add in the second fact in here. So this one, it is also one of Europe's tallest buildings and has has become a powerful symbol of the city. So I'll take that first sentence or the, just that part of the sentence and let's paste that in here as well. And actually, I'll delete this. So it's better practice. So let me just delete this. It's better practice to actually just copy it from here and then paste it in right here and just move it up. So it just keeps everything a bit more aligned. So let me just uh, paste this out. Uh, sorry, let me just copy this back again. Let's go back to Canva and paste that in. So there we go. So that's the first frame or the first building. And so far that's 16 seconds long. So you can add in more facts and more uh, things if you wanted to, but that's just the first uh, few frames. So let's hit play and see what this looks like. So that looks good. So it just adds in the first, uh, the first building. And that also looks pretty good. So the second frame is probably a bit too long. So let's just cut this down. So the second frame is 10 seconds long. So I'm just going to cut it down to about uh, six seconds as well. So there we go. Then just click on done. Next, let's go into the second building, which is the Willis Tower. So I'm going to copy this. And sometimes when you copy from writer, it just does this. Okay. So sometimes when you copy, it doesn't come out properly, it comes out with some weird code, but in this case it came out right. So let's search this building up. Let's see if there's any videos of it. So I think that's the, oh no, is that the building? The Willis Tower in Chicago or the gun building in Chicago. So let's just search that up. Gun building Chicago. So I'm not sure if there's actually any um, videos of this building. So let's see here. Gun building. No, that's not what we're looking for. Uh, let's just search this entire thing up. So let's see if that comes up. Uh, sometimes you have to keep doing this just to make sure you have the facts right. So I just want to see what this building actually is. So this is the building. So let's see if there's uh, actually any photos of this. Looks like, uh, is that it right here? Yeah, so there's one video of it right here. So there's one video. And looks like there's only, yeah, there's only one video of it in pixels. So if you can only find one video, you can also use some of the other um, websites out there like uh, Storyblocks. They have some great um, copyright free footage as well, but you have to pay for these guys. So I've got my, uh, I've got a link in the description below for Storyblocks. It's also my affiliate link. So if you buy it through my affiliate link, I'll get a commission. So let's just search this up. Let's see if they have any. So there we go. So they've got heaps of different videos right here. So uh, I'm just going to take that one free one, uh, just this one right here. And let's click on free download. And let's take in the first fact. Chicago is the most popular city in the world. And so I'm going to take maybe just this first sentence right here. So this looks pretty good to me. And let's go back to Canva. Let's upload that third video. And let's add in another frame. And I'm also going to uh, actually copy this. Actually, I'll copy both of these right here copy both of these and I'll paste this in and this time this one is called the Willis Tower I think yeah the Willis Tower Sears 
oops let me just do this properly so normally i would do a bit more fact checking and actually do it properly but just to keep this video quick i'm just trying to move along quickly as possible so let's move this down a little bit and let's also take that first sentence that we copied just before and let's paste that in right here there we go so let me just move that down a little bit more and let's click and drag the first video in here so i'm going to change this to white this time so it's easy to read and maybe even i'll push this this side so i think that looks a bit better so there we go so this uh this now this video is one minute long so already we have a video that's one minute long so now we can keep going so you just need to add in uh, the rest of the videos the rest of the, the buildings or the list that you've created and just keep going the only thing you can't do with canva is add your own voiceovers you can click right here and click on uh, record yourself but there's some limitations to adding your own voiceovers and uh, through canva so i don't recommend using canva to add your own voiceovers to do that i recommend you use a video editor like vvideo.com or your own video editor so what you need to do is download the video and then upload um, import it into another video editor and then upload the voiceover manually so that's actually so much easier to to uh to add in the voiceover instead of using canva it's just uh they just don't have a feature that's actually good enough to create your own uh voiceover through canva it's just not good quality so that's why i don't recommend it but um, hopefully they do come up with a better uh, feature that will uh, that will help you create voiceovers and things like that so uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you use Canva to edit videos. Uh, if you found this video helpful, make sure you uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below. And if you do all three of those things, you'll be in the draw to win my YouTube Masterclass course. The course is constantly getting updated with new uh, news about YouTube, uh, new ways to grow on YouTube, new ways to monetize your YouTube channel. There's heaps of different information here. You can uh, click the uh, link in the description below if you want to learn more about this course. But that's it for today's video and I'll see you in next week's video.